welcome to The Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins, and the Mars Curiosity rover, which has been exploring the surface of the red planet since it landed with all that fanfare in 2012, has measured a tenfold spike in the levels of methane in the atmosphere around it. Basically, Martians also get the farts. Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. Out of the dozen methane samples the rover has taken during its 20 months, two of the months the samples measured 7 parts per billion, which is about 10 times higher than readings before and after that time period. Rover science team member Sushil Atreya of the University of Michigan Ann Arbor explains what that means, saying, This temporary increase in methane, sharply up and then back down, tells us there must be some relatively localized source. And the other signs are getting stronger that if there's not organic life on the planet now, there may have been at some point, or at least the planet was capable of supporting some form of life. Organic molecules containing carbon and hydrogen have been found in the rocks in an area that's been dubbed Cumberland and indicate favorable conditions for life on Mars in the past. Those organic molecules are the chemical building blocks of life, but what is it they say? Correlation does not imply causation? And those molecules can exist without the presence of life, but they at least show that Mars is chemically active. Curiosity participating scientist Roger Summons from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge explains, Organics are important because they can tell us about the chemical pathways by which they were formed and preserved. In turn, this is informative about Earth-Mars difference. The challenge now is to find other rocks on Mount Sharp that might have different and more extensive inventories of organic compounds. Curiosity has also learned more about the water that used to be on Mars after analyzing hydrogen isotopes from water molecules freed from a rock during a heating process. This has revealed that the planet had begun losing water before the lake bed being measured was even formed billions of years ago. This kind of thing is measured by looking at the ratio of deuterium to more common hydrogen isotopes over a period of history. Typically, as lighter hydrogen escapes from the atmosphere, the ratio of heavier deuterium increases. The big learning is that we now believe water existed on the planet for millions of years, which is a significant boost over previous estimates, and which also increases the chances that life had the opportunity to form. NASA has recently announced plans to send a human mission to Mars in the 2030s to learn more, and you can find all about that by clicking right here. What do you think about the increasing signs that Mars could have supported life billions of years ago? Kinda makes Earth feel late to the party, huh? Well, weigh in in the comments. Remember, you get the best in video games, entertainment, technology, and science right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll keep you in the know.